My name is Dr. Hari Iyer. I'm a hand and upper extremity surgeon, and I work at the Center for Hand and Upper Extremity Surgery. When it comes to different types of fractures in the upper extremity, the ones that happen most common uh, about the wrist joint are actually distal radius fractures. We have two bones in our forearm, the radius and the ulna, and a lot of times we fall onto an outstretched arm and we break the distal end of our radius. It's a very common fracture uh, in the world of hand and upper extremity surgery, um, and it is very easily solved and fixed with plates and screws. Now, depending on the energy of your, uh, of your accident, um, whether it be maybe falling from a rooftop or maybe even a very high energy car crash, sometimes that bone is completely shattered. In those scenarios, the amount of reconstruction that needs to happen is a lot more involved. Simple fractures of the distal radius uh, are often clean breaks and they're often, uh, you know, usually it's only one fracture line that goes straight through the bone. And so fixing that can, can be done by a lot of different types of surgeons. Uh, orthopedic trauma surgeons, for example, can, can handle uh, injuries like that. Um, when it comes to complex distal radius fractures, ones where the bones have completely shattered apart, there are multiple fracture lines, multiple tiny small pieces right at the level of the joint, you want someone who is experienced with hand and upper extremity surgery because you want them to be able to reconstruct that wrist joint such that you're able to move it again. If you have someone who reconstructs the joint in, in a way that is that creates incongruencies or creates stiffness, then that joint is unusable to you. So the goal from our perspective is to try and rebuild you as good as you possibly can be uh, when it comes to incredibly high energy, high comminution, high complexity fractures of the distal radius. So simple distal radius fractures tend to heal fairly quickly. You'll likely be uh, monitored with x-rays for about six weeks, after which we can remove any kind of brace that we're putting you in and allow you to start regaining your motion and your strength for the next six weeks. So usually about three months total for you to get back to feeling pretty close to where you were before the accident. Um, when it comes to complex fractures, that can take many more months. And that can take up to um, three to six months, depending on how bad the fracture is. But if we're able to reconstruct you at the time of surgery to a, a point where you're as close as you can be with respect to the joint itself, the, the, the fractured bone itself, if we can bring you back to normal at the time of surgery, we can shorten the recovery time as much as possible.